Here's a great story straight from the heart. Five years ago, a serious car accident paralyzed a Dublin nurse, but now he's back on his feet and still caring for others at Fairview Park Hospital. Inslee Nichols shows you what inspired Seth Nicholson to never give up. At first glance, Seth Nicholson looks like a typical nurse, standing around chatting with his coworkers in the hallway in between rounds. But you see, it was a long journey to get Nicholson to this point. I was there. So, make the best of it. In 2014, Nicholson got into a horrible car accident, which led to a spinal cord injury. The doctors told him he would never walk again, but Nicholson likes a challenge. And just the will to do it. We're proving people wrong as well. Clearly, Nicholson is not in a wheelchair. He proved them wrong. In his many months of recovery, working to heal and gain his strength back, he finished nursing school. Nicholson's injuries didn't stop his dreams. The progression of patients, seeing patients go from deathly ill to being able to get up and get around by themselves. I got the feeling of what they're going through, so I try to make their time here as good as I possibly can. In fact, it pushed him to excel in his job at Fairview Park Hospital in Dublin, a fighter and now a nurse excellence recipient. Of course, his mom, Tanya Nicholson, wasn't shocked at all. Very often he's the first one in and the last one out, and nobody goes down without him helping them. The challenge to prove people wrong motivated Nicholson to walk again and work hard in his career. But there's one thing he wasn't going to miss out on. One of the biggest times of your life and I didn't want it to be defined by me sitting down during it. It's his wedding day, getting married to his high school sweetheart. Now that, he says, he had to stand for. We both took care of each other. Nicholson says he may be walking now, but he could end up back in a wheelchair. Either way, he's not giving up. In Dublin, Enza Nichols, 13 WMAZ News. That's amazing. Nicholson has worked for Fairview Hospital for three years now.